Hi, my name is Ali Shersava from Breacher Digital. As you may have noticed, sometimes we use the average value, or sometimes we use the RMS value of, let's say, current or voltage when we are calculating power. So in this video, we're going to explain when we use the average value and when we use the RMS and why. So basically, the rule is actually very easy. If both current and voltage are constant, or they are DC, then you are just multiply them by each other. If one of them is constant and the other one varies, uh, then you use the average value. For example, in a diode, if you can imagine you have got a diode and then you have got a current flowing through here, the voltage drop, the forward drop across, across this diode will be constant for simplicity, let's say, at one volt for a power diode. The current, however, may be looking something like this. So this is constant and this one is varying. Therefore, to, use the, to, to calculate the power, we will go with power within the diode lost is going to be the forward drop, Vf, which is a constant value times I average. I'll explain why in a moment. Now, if you have both the voltage and the current varying, for example, like in a MOSFET, whereby you again have a switch, here is your MOSFET. Let us draw the RDS, the internal resistance of this MOSFET here. Now you've got a current flowing through here. The current, let's say that it will take a shape of this. And the voltage that is going to appear across here, according to Ohm's law, it is going to be proportional. And the voltage, it's also going to appear varying. So current is varying, voltage is varying, and you use RMS value. So now you say that the power lost in this MOSFET is going to be I RMS times V RMS. Now, let's see why this happens. Um, if you consider that we have two time varying waveforms, you have got V of T, time varying, times I of T, that gives you the instantaneous power. Um, but we are interested in the average of this value. So in order to work out the average of this, we need to find the area of the graph then, and then divide it by the time period. So in mathematical terms, that will be, we'll be integrating it. Our time period for a repetitive wave in the power supply, for example, would be between zero to my period, that will give me the average value provided that I divide it by the total period that I have. And that will be with respect to time, and that will be power average that I have. Okay, now consider if one of these is constant with the case of the diode. Vt is not dependent on time because it's forward drop of the, of the diode, so that becomes a constant value Vf. This does not change with respect to time, so it actually comes out of the integral. Vf goes here, and this is the definition of the average value of the current, and that's why for a diode we have Vf times I average as the power. So let us now consider the case of when both voltage and current are varying, such as we have in a MOSFET. So let's say I have my MOSFET. Let's draw the RDS. We know that the current is going down there. Let's say that it has a shape like this. And the voltage that is going to appear across my resistance is going to have a shape like this. Okay. Again, the power average over one period, power would be one uh, will be integral of V of T times I of T divided by my period between naught to T. And I know that I can write the power loss here as I RMS squared times R. And I know that V is equal to IR. So I can replace that with R 
i of t times r ds. Again, this is a constant. It does not change with time. So that comes out r ds. Yeah. Now, the definition of root mean square is actually this plus one extra the square root. This would have been root mean square, but I have two of them. So if I square that, that goes with that. And you will see that, in fact, the equation you have here is exactly the same as this. And therefore, when both voltage and current are varying, we use IRMS. So uh, this is pretty much all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in one of our workshops. I do apologize, that's my phone. Let me turn that off, I'll come back.